in this video we are going to learn how to add an animated text in your website like this so there we can see so this is image is possible to add gradient background or gradient text of any type of color text you want to use so like some if you have some images so you want to implement the text and they want to make this text should be colored like this images background so like this way you can implement it you can see this all this text when we're marking over there and this copy filter is making the color is white so this is basically how we can apply this animated text property there so i'm going to using this everything and i'm going to explain that how to make it so let's get started this video now you can see i have opened my visual code studio so you can see i have added a html file and a back button image and another one is a background images so i'm gonna adding this and we're going to making this completely about it and very simple language we're going to using it very simple this is basically html and little bit of advanced animated css so we're going to using it so first of all i'm going to complete this file so this file is the basic file i'm going to complete it here so there i just make a little bit of zoom so that you can understand easily there so there is i'm going to writing a title about it so i'm going to write in this animated text and then after this body section so first of all i'm gonna add the background in this body so i'm gonna open an html sorry style css file and there i'm gonna open it the body and then i'm gonna write in the css property directly i'm writing this with this 100 person and then i'm writing this background okay so here and url so i'm gonna add a images over there so inside of this i'm gonna adding this images that is back okay slash the images name is back busy okay back busy so i have this in images folder so i need to connect this one img folder okay now you can see this img folder is searching this images one there so I'm gonna writing it. So I'm gonna writing it completely over there. So IMG slash, and there you can see the back busy. So this one, and this is our background images. So I'm gonna open it with a browser. You can see here there is plain background. The image is not displaying. So some reason there is not completing this CSS about there. So I'm gonna make it background, which is background repeat none and then height under vs now save this file and i'm gonna open it with live server so now you can see this image is displaying over there but the image is not completely about there so i'm gonna make it as a background size cover so it will be completely fit on the screen one there background size cover and save this one so now just back to the browser and reload it you can see this image is perfectly set it on the background okay now back to this our code studio now here after this body section here i'm going to add a class name which is animate okay i miss taking again animate text and opening this class name over there and inside of this i'm gonna opening this text about it so which is i'm gonna writing in ace one so inside of this i'm gonna writing this so how to add okay i'm then how to add animated text using css so i'm gonna add in some break this one and after this animated text and we have completed as you can see now save this file and just go back to here so the text is on the code you can see the text is displaying one here so we need to make this in this here this in the center over there so just put it back and here we need to copy this class name and then go back to here and then put this class now i'm gonna make it as a background okay not background exactly so it is display flex and then justify content center align item it's also center now save it and let's back to there now you can see it was displaying one here 
now we need to make it as a little bit up from the height from there let's go back and here i'm gonna make it margin margin top okay margin top is i'm gonna set it nearly 30 per 30 vas and back to there okay it is let's reload it now it's it is not displaying on there okay okay the text is still not going to the center position now back to here and okay we see there is a mistake on there instead of zero we have write it o now save it as 30 vas and back to here okay it was not working the live server back to there now you can see the text is simply perfectly move it on there now i want to make this the text align should be center so back to here and i'm gonna make it as a text align center save it and open it with the live server and now you can see the text is successfully aligned in the center mid over there now just go to here and i'm gonna copy this another one we have this h1 tag inside of it so i'm gonna copy this one and after there is one i'm pasting this and i'm gonna writing some css for it i'm gonna writing this first of all color it is i'm gonna make it white and then i'm going to make and the one thing that is text transform it is uppercase and save it and open with the live server again now you can see the text is displaying and it was completely capital letter but the text font is not good so we're going to add some another font so there i'm going to add a font family and it is sun serif now save it and back here now you can see the text is looking like a little bit of good now we're going to add some spaces inside the ease of the letter one there now back to the code studio and we're going to adding this and the one property which is letter spacing so i'm going to make it as a two pixel and let's save it and let's see what was the explanation about there so it was perfectly it was displaying on there so the two pixel is one here now we're going to maximum size i want to make some increasing the font sizes back to here and let's increase the font size and i'm gonna make it as a 3rm and back to there now you can see 3rm is displaying here like this so we have successfully increased the font size and we have made also a little bit of a space is of this text from there now we're going to add a for this animating property and we're going to add in this animation animation about this css property over there so just back to here the code studio before going to add that I need some a little bit of a specification tagline one there so which is we're going to animate it so like this I'm gonna back here I'm gonna animate this first one how to and then animate it and then this CSS so I'm going to animate it this part this part and this part so we are going to specifically and we need to identify each of this part so I'm going to add a span okay a span so inside of this span i'm gonna put it this how to and then we're going to adding this animated span and this animated need to copy okay i think this span should be used that animated text full line so i'm going to copy from here the span and go to here the text after this text i'm going to close in the span and using CSS, I'm gonna animate this CSS also. So now a span, and inside of this, I'm gonna put in this CSS. Just copy it from there and paste it. Okay, I have put it the CSS in two time. Now save this and go back to here. Now this all is perfect. There will be no issue. But we just using this span, this identifying for the before for this animation property. Now just copy this span from here, the span tag, and up to there, I'm gonna put in this span, and then I'm gonna make it first of all the color, and it is transparent. This is very important to color make transparent. So that we can see this. Some of the word is not displayed because the color is transparent. Now we're going to add a background for the text background, and this is URL. I'm going to add this images. 
so we have this mg folder and then the back button images this one and save this go back here this images is displaying like this so we need to save this some using property which is background okay background size cover now save it and back here it is not displaying now we're going to add this background cliff this one background cliff it is text now save this and back to here okay it was we need to make it as a reload again the reopen just we have reopened this one like there so there is a text is displaying but the background is influencing over there okay now after setting this all the property on there now let's see the live server so you can see this image is properly displaying but the text is not displaying over there so we need to set some little bit of more thing there is the background clip property this is the advanced CSS property this is by default this is not work in the browser so we need to make some little bit of supporting property about there which is the web kit which is web kit and then the background clip so this is basically forced to the browser that you should support this one and which is where writing so this will be support this will force to display this background clip text so just save it and go back from here and back to this you can see this animation text this text is successfully animated one there so this is the text animated and this one and this one so i think there little bit of this text only and the text should be make it empty open there so it will look a little bit of more better or we can just remove this the text if i remove the text from here and let's see how it look okay this is still not looking good so just i'm adding it text again and i'm going to remove this span from here too just copy it and i'm gonna write in here and i need to remove this one the previous so this is removed successfully and back to there now you can see we have successfully added that how to add animate text in your website so now you can see this is animation that in the background from there and you can also move this text you can copy this and when we're going to pressing this text this text is completely getting this color against of the copy filter so this is basically how you can use for animated text so you can use any other images in the background this button on your gradient anything so this is somehow you've seen that some of the website is showing their animated text and they are getting this animated gradient text over there but how basically we can apply this animated text the css doesn't have any property for this so this is the way how we can apply for this an animated background gradient into this your text and gradient and then you can implement the text as a gradient color so this is the simplest and very easiest way so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update like this type of video